Hello and welcome everybody. The first video is going to be about the keyword analyzer tool. Right now we're just going to log in. Using this tool, you'll be able to identify how, uh, how powerful your uh, competition is, as well as how difficult the keyword is. You will also be able to analyze uh, the competitors you write in a, an article to compete with. You'll also be able to identify their uh, strengths and weaknesses. This will be done by analyzing their pages. Moreover, if, uh, if you are going to write an article, you'll be able to know how many words your article is. In addition to other info, you'll be able to see throughout this video. Right here is the search box. We also have three tabs, search, history, and recently. If this is your first time searching for a keyword, we've taken uh, SEO as an, as an example here. The tool will be able to send you, uh, to show you uh, some suggested keywords that are related to the one you searched for. This will make it easier for you to complete, uh, to have more keywords. If you search for a keyword for some keywords before uh, and already have several keywords that you have searched for uh, in the past, uh, you'll be able to search uh, throughout these keywords history tab. As you can see, I have searched for these keywords before, and that's why I can see them here. The Recently tab allows you to see the latest seven keywords you have searched for. This will make it easier for you to go through the uh, analysis uh, you have done before, uh, recently of course. The more you search, this, uh, uh, as you search for, the, for more keywords, this list will be updated. As you can see, I've, I've searched for the content marketing strategy keyword here. And if I click on it right, right, right here, uh, our, the, the, the data of this, keyword, of this keyword will be uh, populated. Each keyword has its own country and language. This all enables you to drill down your, your search uh, uh, when you are looking to analyze your competition. Right here, I've got more than 190 countries. Uh, you can look, you can use in the search box, you can search for Egypt, for example. Hello, Morocco. This tool supports several languages, as you can see, whereas other tools you may be able to find only support English. And we will be updating the list of uh, languages that we support in the future. You can also pick whether uh, the keywords you're looking for are, are dedicated to mobile or desktop. For this example, we're going to be looking for the, we'll be searching for the content marketing strategy keyword. Right here, we're going to be able to see the score topics. Uh, using this here, right here, you're going to be able to see the topic competition uh, and how hard it is good to compete in this domain. This is one of the best ways to, to understand how hard it is to compete, and you can definitely count on it as you analyze your keyword uh, and how hard it is. The score, this score depends on how, uh, on how fierce your competition is, and it's going to be uh, one of your best uh, tools to, to understand how hard it is to, to compete against others. As you can see here, the score is 61.6. And it's a hardware that needs high quality backlinks uh, if you are going to, uh, to list search results in this uh, keyword. Of course, this case changes whether the, depending on, on uh, if the word is easy or not. This score here is, is about the first 10 results. This here shows you the, uh, uh, the best score for the, uh, among the uh, first 10 uh, results as well as the lowest score in these results, which will, uh, this will definitely help you in, in understanding how hard it is, as well as the work you can have to do uh, when you're writing your, uh, your article to compete. This also, this part here shows you the uh, more information about the first 10 uh, results. Uh, of course, this reflects the uh, standard score we have seen just now. Uh, this 
this shows you that uh, it's about 79 percent this is an approximation of course whereas uh, if you can also uh, look with me here you'll be able to see that the lowest score is 46 which is also reflected on the uh, uh, other gauge here uh, right here are the uh, top 20 results and this enables you to go through them all and see how well they uh, compete against each other as well as their scores This right here shows you the number of resu results that are ads, as well as the number of results that are videos. This right here is the uh, questions uh, site, such as Yahoo Answers, as well as uh, Quora. So this is going to show you the number of results that show in such uh, sites that are related to questions. Whereas this part here uh, shows you the number of results that are in AMP, which is uh, fast loading in, in mobile phones. This reflects the, uh, the ability to load up the pages uh, quickly in uh, Google Chrome. Right now I'm going to explain that one of the uh, most important parts of the Keyword Analyzer tool, which is understanding where uh, the keywords you're looking for uh, which which domain the, the keyword you're looking for falls under so this way if you are making a specialized article you're gonna, you're gonna be able to make a dedicated section for such articles which will make it uh, easier to track uh, the keyword uh, as you now have the domain it falls under so uh, for for our example here the the tool is showing us the market this table here shows you a, a number of uh, uh, data and information you can use to, to get better results. So when you are deciding uh, which title and description you're going to write for your article, it's going to make it easier for you. Uh, the tool will help you uh, doing, to do this by showing you the most used uh, keywords. And the tool will also give you the right combination of keywords uh, to optimize uh, your article and title. Uh, specifically in this case so if we pick title here you're going to be able to see the top one uh, the top words that uh, you'll be able to use in your title now if i pick uh, the top two uh, words you'll be able to see strategy content marketing as well as other uh, important these are really important keywords that you can use to write your article and title of course you can also use these keywords to write uh, different articles so this will give you ideas. Now if I pick uh, three, uh, three words or three keywords, I'll be able to see uh, content marketing strategy. You'll also be able to see uh, other examples such as uh, strategy content marketing as well as other important keywords that you can use. This goes up all the way to six words. You can export uh, these keywords in Excel, CSV, text, or JSON. For this example, we're going to use uh, Excel. The uploaded file will be available for 24 hours only. So uh, if you go past that, you're going to have to uh, uh, recreate your search. But what we just said is it also applies to the description. So just as we talked about the title, uh, the situation is the same for the, dis for the description. Once you click on it, you'll be able to find one up to six words. And if there are more than six words, you'll be able to find them as well. You'll find uh, you'll also find important words that you can use to write, uh, to write articles about or add to your article itself. Synonyms are, synonyms are also uh, shown here. You can also use these words in your articles. You can also write uh, articles about the synonyms, uh, synonyms uh, themselves. The related section is uh, for uh, related keywords uh, that are linked to your search. When you when you search in Google, you'll be able to find the uh, related words that uh, Google shows you. As you can see here, the tool shows you these uh, keyword, related keywords, and uh, you can write articles about them or add them to your article.
The sentiment section gives you also uh, brilliant ideas that you can use to enhance your uh, targeting and articles. As for the questions section here, uh, it depends on your uh, search. Some ser some searches ha have uh, related questions and others don't. For this example, you see that uh, the tool has, has given us four questions. If you use the micro niche uh, tool, you, uh, the tool will be able to give you uh, up to 500 questions uh, that you can use to uh, further uh, strengthen your articles and use them in your content plan. You can use these questions to uh, to answer them in your article because uh, these questions are uh, are important for people who search. Finally, in the entity section, uh, you'll be able to f to understand. Uh, so, for example, if you are looking for a certain product, you'll be able to find the, the price uh, from the entity section. And as you can see, uh, this section can be useful in certain cases and not all of them. As for the Google SERP analysis, and as one of the most important uh, keyword analyzer tool uh, features, and if you are starting out uh, and, and writing an article, you'll be able to understand uh, how many words you should be writing in this article. Uh, as you can see, the tool provides the average uh, words count for the first uh, 10 results. This part right here also toggles the images that are used. Right here, you'll be able to see the logo as well as the uh, article's image. As you can see right here uh, is the title. As you can see, this is the link that you can copy or fetch. Uh, this is uh, this part will be used later on when we explain the uh, content optimizer tool. You can also uh, open the link in a new tab. Right here, you can, you'll be able to find the description. Uh, the publishing date isn't available for this article. The update of the article isn't uh, isn't available either for this case. The score of this article, right? For this example, the score is 64. The article count is about 3,000. And the focus section uh, shows you how many times he has mentioned a uh, content marketing strategy in his uh, article. So he's mentioned it one time. Right here, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, he ha uh, the, uh, the article's author hasn't mentioned the keyword uh, in the URL, nor the title, nor the description. And the last part is the soci social signals, which is a, v a very important factor. These numbers will be uh, further explained in the content optimizer tool. This number here means that he should have added uh, 59 words, but he hasn't. He has also added uh, 59 words, uh, which is less than optimal. He also added two words that he, he should have. And based on the content optimizer tool suggestions, uh, you'll be able to see that he has added uh, 44 words more than, the, the, more than, the, than he should have. Now, if you want to, to make a, a deeper analysis of this uh, result, you click this icon. And after clicking on this uh, lamp icon, you'll be able to see uh, the deep analysis results, uh, as well as an uh, on-page analysis. This here is the ratio. The page size is uh, 167 kilobytes. The code is 93 kilobytes. These are the HTML codes of the page. The text itself is 72 kilobytes. And the code to text ratio is, as you can see, 77, uh, is about 77%. These numbers are uh, very important uh, for you when you, when you are choosing your uh, template as well as the design of your uh, website. So uh, yeah, you wouldn't be adding uh, to, uh, a big size of code, uh, whereas the content itself is, is small. Uh, Google algorithms would rather see more content uh, within your article to benefit uh, your visitors. So this ratio will help you uh, uh, lead the results uh, when, you are, when you are designing and writing uh, in your website. Of course, right here, as usual, you'll be able to see the title as well as the, as well as the link itself. These are the helping icons. This is the relevancy score. Uh, which shows you that the article, this article is well optimized and has a, a score of 64. We will be able, uh, we will be explaining this uh, furthermore in the content optimizer tool. But for now, uh, and for the sake of this explanation, if you're 
if your article score is between 55 and 75, then this means your article is well optimized and this is what we recommend, that your article uh, relevancy score uh, is between 55 and 75. This uh, score helps the AI to understand what you are writing, writing about and helps you uh, leave the search results. But this plan here allows you to see 20 results. You'll see a red circle uh, at the first result as, we are, as this is the one that we are uh, analyzing right now. This here shows us that the first result has a score of 64 and, uh, word, uh, and the article's word count is about 3000. So as you analyze the rest of the results, you'll be able to understand how many words you should be writing. Uh, and uh, as an end result, uh, you'll be able to read the search results. The tool, uh, as you can see, shows you the article's image. This is the uh, description. This is the rank, uh, first rank, of course. You will also be able to see the article score, as well as the number of the article's word, words. You'll also be able to see the dates of publishing uh, updating. This is the H1 of the article, the heading, first heading. This right here is also the, 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 the article itself. The tool will help you uh, so that you won't be opening so many tabs uh, to, to analyze, for example, the first 10 results. And uh, you'll be opening these tabs to analyze uh, the, the article separately, which is uh, obviously a cumbersome uh, process. Uh, this, but, but the tool right here will help you understand the weaknesses uh, and strengths of your uh, competitor, and it, may, it would make your life easier. And as you click on the lamp icon, you'll be able to see, uh, to have everything at your fingertips. This part here will show you the internal links uh, within the article that the author has added. And you'll be able to see how much he, uh, attention he gives to the internal links within the article. And as you can see here, he has added a high number of internal links. This section, the hashtag internal, is uh, dedicated to uh, moving uh, to, to certain parts within the article itself. And you'll be able to see each link. You'll also be able to see the external links that he has added to the uh, article as well. This uh, adds to the authority of your uh, site, and you'll also be able to understand the link between your uh, site and the external links that are added to the article itself. Yeah, right here, you'll be able to see the uh, HTML tags such as strong, EM, H2, all the way up to H6. You can also export them, uh, export these as well. This section right here will show you the images album that were used uh, in the article. As you can see, they haven't uh, used a high number of images. These are some of these uh, images, and you can uh, save them uh, easily using this way. We can also try another uh, result. Let's try this one, for example. Uh, just the same situation as before. But right here, you'll be able to analyze the meta tags. Uh, in this part here, you'll be able to analyze the meta tags uh, in case he is using them, of course. And you'll be able to understand which, uh, which data is, is provided to the search engines. And it'll be uh, very easy for you to understand them uh, using this tool. And if they have added uh, a schema and a JSON SEO, you'll be able to see them right here. And you'll be able to understand uh, uh, strengths and weaknesses. Right here is the images album. You can also uh, view these images or save them as we just uh, explained. And this grid icon here allows you to see the images in a grid, of course, uh, if you'd rather see them this way. The tool provides the first 20 results, depending on your plan, of course. Uh, some plans uh, allows you to see the first 10 results only. And uh, I hope this explanation has been uh, useful for you and let me know in the comments if you uh, if you have any questions